a lot of trees fallen on this hill. Maybe they're clearing it out or something, but this is an interesting cache. It's right there. Can you see it? Let me show you. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, and the, and the cash container is, is down inside there. So, I like that. I'm going to remember that. That's pretty, that's pretty good. I've never seen this before. Um, it's a large cache, and they just got a lot of, uh, well, they got some tradables, but um, it's mostly stuff to drink, coffee and juice. There is a, a geocoin here. I'm not going to take it because I'm, I'm not going to leave for another year. Well, I got one did not find here in this area. Uh, the zero coordinates, um, well, it jumps around a lot, but it's kind of basically in this area here. That's the zero, ground zero, they say. Uh, there are several places, good places, that uh, the cache could be, um, but not there. And this little sleeve right here that lifts up could have been put in there. Um, there's another lamp post up there, and that sleeve lifts up too, but there's nothing there. The thing is, it's uh, it's listed as a, a one difficulty, one terrain, which is, uh, when I try that, if I hide a cache and I put it as one one, uh, it gets rejected automatically. I have to I have to send an email and explain to the reviewer, yes, it it, it is level ground, it is wheelchair accessible. I mean, that's what one one means, is it's wheelchair accessible. And, uh, this does not look like a place that's wheelchair accessible. So I think the guy, the guy might have just bullshitted his review, or I don't know. Or unless, well, unless it's not here. Maybe it was down there in the parking area, and it's just gone. That's a possibility. Okay, I've, I've looked. I've looked everywhere where it could have been a 1-1 um, a one -one hide. And I looked places where it would have been like a 2-1 a hide, or maybe even a 2-2 two -two hide. So, places I would have hidden it. It's just, I just can't find it. So I'm moving on to the next one. I found a few caches didn't find a few caches. This last one I was looking for, um, I looked at the photos that had been posted and the photos were taken apparently in the spring or summer last year. And it and, uh, wasn't just the greenery, there were, there were trees that had fallen over but those trees have been cut and moved and so I'm not sure, I don't know, and, and there was a, uh, there was a, uh, an old lady, she came up and asked me if I was looking for yak. And I said, yak? Well, yak is the Korean word for medicine. But I, she finally found one. She dug around, I was watching her, and she dug around, she found one, it was an acorn. So I, I assume that a yak also refers to acorns. And, uh, and that's what she does. She, she digs around for acorns. And so I figured, well, she might have found the cache. If a lot of people come up here looking for the acorns, then probably uh, the cache might have been found by a muggle. I don't know. I didn't find it, so that's all I can say. And it's past lunchtime, so I'm hungry. I gotta climb over this mountain to get back where I was, where the food is. A lot of climbing today. I, my legs are burning, but it's a good burn. You may remember, I think I posted it. Yeah, I posted it. You may remember on uh, another video that 
I did find a cache over there. Um, right now I'm looking for something to eat. I just passed a bunch of places, but everything's got meat in it. Even the stuff that shouldn't. So I'm just gonna go back to Home Plus. Play premium, pay premium price for a Toso Bibimbap, but I have to go up and tell them don't put meat in it because they will automatically put meat in something called mixed vegetable and rice. Well, all in all, I had a good day. Did some geocaching, stopped here at Home Plus, picked up some uh, cat food. I didn't get lunch, I, I got some french fries and a donut and a cup of coffee. Not much of a lunch, was it? It's hard to get vegetarian out on the uh, Korean streets. You have to make your own food if you want vegetarian. They put meat in everything. I don't know what it is about them. I mean, it, 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 it's hard to find a dish that they will not put meat in. <laughs> it's, it's rather funny, some of the things they put meat in. But anyway, I'm getting off track. I'm going to go down here and catch the bus, get back to uh, Pyeongjom, and then from Pyeongjom I take another bus over to my neighborhood. That bus stop there. Apparently only one bus, a number five bus stops there. I'm glad I didn't wait very long. I'm glad I looked around before I stood there too long. All right, well, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.